Hello people, and welcome back to part 58 of Palavan, our vanilla city skylines build. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for support on Sunday's live stream. We had a really nice time putting together some Barcelona inspired super blocks at using repeated patterns of European corner high density office and residential and commercial as well. And we kind of broke up that pattern with some plazas, lots of little walkway action happening here as well. Always satisfying when we see this, isn't it? Yes, please. Very nice indeed. I decided to fracture some of the patterns with some little custom gardens that will make an appearance throughout the European area. Just little basic templates like this, some gazebos and fountains and whatnot. And then we also introduced some green cities into the area too, uh, using some kind of farmer's markets to, again, just shatter that pattern. And if you haven't stopped by from one of the live streams, um, they kind of turn into these little community engagement and idea sharing sessions. Um, do try and stop by for them if you haven't already. And if you can't catch them live, they are always uploaded to the channel afterwards as well. So we can kind of see this pattern taking effect. And it of course needs to be carried on. Uh, this was just kind of a live stream idea. But fairly happy with the result anyway. And of course some repeated sugar maple pattern as well, just to help border up our arterial. We also included the Market Street asset as well. There's still lots of expansion to do here, and we will carry on working on this area in live streams, of course. However, in today's episode, I want to head over to this little peninsula that we have. It's not really a peninsula, is it? It's just like a... It's, it's a mass of land. <laughs> not everything is a peninsula. Um, got some nice ideas for this. I really want to try and factor in the Cathedral asset as kind of the key theme. Lots of open plazas, nice European assets that will have a tremendous outlook uh, over towards the sunset. Okay, so terraform the land out a little bit here and it starts to look okay. It look a lot better once our keys are in. But I want to make sure that the key is centralised on the road guideline of this little main arterial that's coming down here. So let's grab the self. I'm going to make sure we're hitting that road guideline, okay? I want to snap out from the angle here. Come for there for about now. I have to do a little bit more terraforming this side to get that one to fit, but that'll be all right. Keep sloping. It's super awkward <laughs> to work with keys in the unmodded game uh, when you're kind of doing them in this massive area. We can come in with some dirt roads if we want. I think we might have to do here just to get them to align up to the positions that we're after. Have our level terrain again. Keep pushing this one out. That one should be okay. There we go, that's what we're after. And again, we'll just continue to tease this one into place. There we go, that's what we want. Okay, so lots of horrible ranted dirt up against the key walls. Let's come with our slope tool and take that away. Let's take all this dirt away with a happy little left click of the mouse using the slope tool. There we go, also terraform the sea floor a little bit too. Make it a little deeper. Okay. Something like that. And then bring it down to this side too. A very kind of impressive seawall here. And I think we'll probably end up bringing it around this side as well. I think TBC, everyone. But we'll, we'll play with some ideas today, see what we can get going, alright? Okay guys, after great pain and suffering, the seawall is finally in. <laughs> it's not quite perfect, there's a couple of little, little kind of like dips and bobs in it, but I think it's going to be alright. I think it's going to, you can't really tell in the grand scheme of things, right? I kind of have this big concrete wall now that works nicely with the port kind of from far away. I think I'm happy with it. A little bit of dirt to tidy up here and there, but of course we'll save that for the detailing time lapse. Okay, let's now start to talk about kind of asset orientation and placement, right? This is what we're all here for. I mentioned at the start of the episode that the cathedral is going to be kind of our, our key asset, right? However, I also want to feature kind of a, a ring park, or I guess a, a U park that's going to flow around here, okay? So let's come on to our road guideline of this central spine here, so we know we're all centralised, and I think I'm going to give myself... A little bit of breathing room here between the edge of the key. This will allow us to come in with some park assets. Let's double check our rooms here. So we can definitely kind of flip this onto another orientation, like right here. Got some nice kind of seawall front parks, right? Whatever you want to call it. 
So we'll keep this measurement going all the way around. Let's snap onto this one here. Again, we'll just line these up now. So we'll come back into all our snapping and then let's start to arrange our kind of key themes and buildings today. So the cathedral is going to be the key one, of course. Again, really nice looking asset. You do need the European theme active to get this. Um, but super, super nice. This kind of looks like the cathedral for any um, any Dark Souls fans watching the video. This kind of looks a little bit like Anno Londo, right? With these little kind of spires and arches. Yeah, a little bit of Anno Londo vibes in this one, I think. Okay, so that's going to be centralized nicely on this road, which is going to be always appreciated, isn't it? I think we can all get on board with that. Then let's come back into our park, and we want to start aligning here. So this makes a difference, everyone. It does make a difference. Okay. So with that in mind, then, let's come off road length, and we'll just snap into the grid. I think we'll save ourselves five tiles between the cathedral and the rest of the path network here. Let's double check our measurements, 140 each side. Also allows us to expand some kind of cathedral garden, if you like, some kind of surrounding tree patterns for the cathedral here. I'm orientating it with the back facing the sea because the sun sets over here, so you can imagine some kind of nice Kind of altar vibes with the sun shining through here, okay? <laughs> I think maybe looking into that a little bit too much, but every little detail counts, right? Okay, so let's put this in there. Right, using our grass for Virgil Road. I'm not sure which road we'll go with here. I mean, we'll probably be trams for a little while because we do want to bring the trams down into here. Um, we kind of have a dead stop, so we'll bring this down the main arterial and then through the roundabout and then have some trams action happening over here as well. Okay guys, so just been having a look at some potential assets in order to complement our cathedral. So the Fantastic Fountain won't centralize, however I definitely want this over here. A cemetery will centralize with the cathedral. And the kind of the, the micro church here, or I guess I guess a chapel is the word, not not micro church. <laughs> will uh, centralize outside of the cathedral really nicely. It kind of complements it as well. Uh, the official part does centralise, but I'm not quite sure if this is too modern. I kind of want this to be a... not a particular old quarter district, but the two very conflicting assets, the official park and the cathedral. Not entirely sure. And then the fourth option is the meteorite park, which will centralise with the cathedral. And then the fifth option is to have no asset and maybe formulate some kind of personalized tram plaza uh, outside of our key asset here. Okay, so having just asked the Discord <laughs> as to what we want outside of this thing, I think I'm going to run with a tram plaza. Uh, a shout out to Mando, Brassac and Miner for their input on this one. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for coming to my aid. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Okay, so let's give ourselves a little one-way tram system, okay? So we'll save ourselves three tiles in front of the cathedral road and then we'll come down in increments 180 just have a tiny little tram box here and what we can also do here is complement with zoo plaza if we wish I'll have to turn this into a part life area though of course which is fine we can do that that's no problem so we'll have the park area here as well okay I think I'm happy with that. And then possibly Zoo Path to complement the Tram Plaza. i to run it down this way, okay. I think we can get on board with that. And then maybe board it up here as well. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's continue to manipulate the tram network into this part of town. Let's grab ourselves the grid tool. We'll turn all this into tramway. And then the same here as well. Um, we will need to delete the monorail line temporarily while we grab that mode. Grab the monorail line back through as well. Over. Very nice. And then we can upgrade this into tram road as well, up until a point. Okay. And then we can grab 
this tram stop. Bring it down so you can stop here, I guess. Um, just for the roundabout, will be fine. And then we'll have it stop. Oh, yes, nice. The, <laughs> the stop will centralize outside the cathedral. This was definitely the right choice. Absolutely is. Okay. Very nice indeed. Let's now bring the road network back together. I think we're going to stick with fairly nice roads for this. Lots of grass and trees and whatnot. Continue to draw out these initial holding frames. Should be okay. And then we'll maybe switch to... Treed Road here, saving ourselves four tiles between, which again gives us some nice asset and decoration opportunities working with those kind of numbers. And then we'll bring these guys together. Now that close, let's double check the measurements here so we are maintaining that symmetry. We're at a distance of 750. Okay. I think we can certainly place in uh, the fantastic fountain in one of these squares. Maybe even throw it off on one angle. But we, we can centralize it here on one side against the tram plaza, which I think would be nice. I think we can get on board with that, okay? I think that'd be alright. Definitely want some kind of organically zoned uh, European stuff over, happening over here too. Um, so we do have a road coming out of the port. So we'll keep this flowing and there's no need to be grass here. Let's make all this regular road. So we'll bring this onto the road guideline. We're going to hook in there. That's going to maintain our perfect tileage as well. And then we'll also feed it across the arterial here. Then across over onto this road guideline and hook it in. And we could work with the possibility of a bridge um, if we wanted to maybe come over the arterial. I think it would block the view to the cathedral though, so we'll maybe revisit that at a later date. Let's implement the city park area now. So let's decide on the gate, and I think we have to maybe run with kind of the smaller side gates, right? And again, these are going to centralize nicely with the fountain. Yes, they are. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And we will name the garden after one of our wonderful patrons today. Go for Ashley Gardens. Thank you so much for your support, Ashley. You are a real secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. As are the rest of the patrons, your support is very much appreciated. Got our path parks now. Or park paths rather. Okay, and then we'll throw in the side gate over here as well. Uh, let's go for that one. Bring down our tree path. Uh, let's start to bring in some high density residential in our European theme. Uh, we will need to drag the European area down, which is <laughs> now called your oven. There we go. Bring it over here. And then down here as well. So we're going to get some nice ring road decoration opportunities in here today as well for the first time. I get some nice asset placement and see what we can do to try and improve this area. Okay, so we're starting to get some assets coming in now in our European theme. Again, I'm not after. This asset is actually really nice in a repeated pattern. Maybe a bank of these. These are also quite nice as well. <laughs> these ones are nice. I'm massive with these. A little bit too orange, I think. A little bit too orange for these ones. I think I want these maybe further back um, in, in the city. These are a little bit too kind of maybe modern looking for what I'm after, I suppose. I think it's the grey and the white colour palette that I'm not a huge fan of. But as we can see, as we come into this area, we're looking at the backs of the buildings, and that's not really kind of the vibe that I'm after here. So I think what we're going to do is come in with some road against road action. We're going to come to road length here, okay? And then we're looking for those 4x4 four four grids here again as well. And then I think we'll bring up some road against road action as we come into the area. And potential... Decoration opportunities here if we run with treed roads instead. This will help line and decorate our initial tram road here. So I think we'll run with that. Now let's come off that road length here and just come to our angle. Okay, I'm just going to bring it into there. Alright. 
And um, in terms of further assets for including within this kind of open park area, and um, we do currently have some more university demand. Some of the university liberal arts assets that we do want to include within the area, okay? So I think this is what we might do. We've got a couple of options here available to us. Um, one being the School of Education, which is a very important looking European asset that I think will work here. Okay. Maybe we'll even centralize our fantastic fans outside of that. Also, continue to look at some more European or well, liberal arts university assets. Okay. Well, of course, need to just make sure our gates stay within the park area. There we go. And then, how about the library? Is a really nice looking European asset. Have a look at this one too. I think that's all right. I'll look at some others maybe. Really keen to implement a few liberal arts assets into this area. There's also the study hall as well. Again, very, very nice. You know, they work so nicely together, don't they? The European assets and the liberal arts stuff. Nice combination. All right, I'm going to refine some repeated patterns to plot the growables using some of our high density stuff here. I think I'm going to lean into this one uh, and then repeat this little uh, pattern along the back of this side so we have the symmetry coming into the area. And then we'll flesh out with some more university assets as well, I think. Okay, so we've got our kind of repeated residential patterns in here. I think we're fairly happy with them. I think they're all right. Some people moving around the area too now, which is nice. Very happy indeed. I think what we also want to do is introduce some park assets in here as well, uh, just to help border up between this and the ring road. And then we'll use our vanilla dirt path, just to link these assets together. And of course, just expand it as well. Bring it down in a couple of different places. And then we can link it through into road networks as well. It's probably a good idea to upgrade this road here into highway on the roundabout, but we'll see how it performs. I'll see how, how things go, okay? And again, do the same thing here again, running our repeated art designs. Now we're not actually running any road on this side anymore, are we? Okay, that's fine. We're tile away, edge of the road. Again, just linking through. Of course, during that D10 time lapse, we will do some trees here. And then we can link through there as well. I think that'll serve as a nice little border between this kind of higher dense ring road infrastructure and those European high density assets as well. I think probably a zoo plaza is going to be the nicest one. And it kind of frames nicely with that needle shot as well with the tree just opening up to the doorways. Okay. Grab ourselves and some more pathway. Um, I guess we'll just run with a little box around the edge of it. So the fantastic fountain will centralize outside the School of Education. I think that's what we'll run with that one instead, okay? I do, however, want the... And because it has one of those assets that's all concrete, right? I want it to have a road around the edge of it. I'll just go internal road spice. And then maybe have a connection over at this point as well. Just allow people to cut through rather than force them all the way around. Then we'll also bring a road down here as well. Put those guys in. Interesting, we've got a few people heading down into the port road as well, getting some industrial traffic through here. We might have to use the um the ban industrial traffic policy here if this gets too much, because there are 
There are cars heading into the industrial steel harbour. Have to be careful of that. I think we're also going to include some cemeteries in here too. Um, let's maybe run with a couple that are going to run parallel with the paths that come out either side. Nice kind of complementing assets to the cathedral, I think, aren't they? These little stone walls are nice too. I'm fairly happy with those. We could actually double back onto these if we wanted to, although we might be leaning too heavily into the repeated pattern vibe here. We will have a look. Oh, they do. <laughs> there is just enough room as well. Can you deny that? <laughs> Can you deny it? I'm not sure. I think that long stone wall. I think we'll run with it. <laughs> I think we will. We can't. We, we can't deny it. You know when just something just fits so perfectly, it does. Uh, just become almost impossible to deny, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll have these down here. I think that'll be all right. Uh, let's introduce some more European zoning into the area. Uh, we do have a lot of residential, so let's maybe start to complement with some European as well. I'm not entirely sure how I want things to flow along this side. There's a possibility, of course, of more liberal arts assets if we wanted to. The commencement office is a nice centralised asset. Uh, the library is a nice one as well. Liberal Arts Library, quite a nice asset, I think. Going to help continually frame our cathedral here. We get a little nighttime spy sample, actually, while we're here. Kind of see what we're beginning to look like in the night. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's looking alright, isn't it? I think it's looking okay. I don't want lots of um, repeated European zoning today, only for the residentials really. This is a perfect matching, look at that. Yes please, we will keep that in. I think, can we make these historical before they level up? Yeah we will, I think. We can't deny those. Yeah, very nice indeed. That's what we're after. So I'm happy with the uh, mix and match assets. I'm not after perfect symmetry everywhere. Okay, so a few different angles now. There's a nice view too. Coming together slowly, I think, isn't it? It's on its way. A uh, potential of the European or oh, liberal arts, <laughs> the European university assets, because let's just face it, I'm never going to call it liberal arts, am I? Uh, the outdoor study area, possibly. I think I would rather use regular park assets. There's something about the paths on these ones, it just. Not particularly my bag. Um, let's go for one of these small parks again. Just up on the corner. Okay, and then again, there's a possibility to do some kind of internal road against road action here. Maybe come through with some smaller roads. More corn. It's a couple of tiles short. And then again, just start to introduce some more European zoning in here. Four by falls in, and then maybe another batch of residential along this road. And again, this just allows us to maintain that very open plaza vibe and uh, trees and parks and everything else that we love in this area, okay? Lots of part detailing to do here during the detailing time maps, of course. And we can see what assets are included here. There's part tiles and benches. We can easily replicate this in these squares as well. Kind of keep it going. I am a fan of the zoo path with decorations. Lining the arterial if we wanted to do this as well. Okay. We'd have to keep it going on this side instead, though, wouldn't we? 
And then maybe downgrade this one that hugs the houses into without decorations. And we are just getting a little bit too spicy. Again, lots of people already picking up these methods to get around into different areas. Very nice. Yeah, so as we just see how setting the assets back, although oh, <laughs> it's the, we discovered this on Sunday's stream and um, the European commercial assets, they're just plastered in neon signs. Yeah, I don't think we can use these here. We're going to have to stick to residential. Residentials don't have them. It's just commercial. I'm really happy with this repeat little row of archways and flower pots. This is very nice. Views through to the other side there as well. We'll start placing in some more kind of service and educational assets now, such as the uh, European Elementary School. And we'll also have to complement with some more high density residential. And then again, just keeping our kind of park theme going. Start introducing some more of our small parks. We'll grab, we'll have another dirt path. Uh, and where we can bring it in behind here. Okay. Nice and simple expansion of the asset. And let's kind of keep this going, all right. Maybe introduce some corner assets here too. Just to kind of flesh these areas out. I'm going to get some awkward ones there, but that's fine. Then we can start to introduce some general kind of park fence designs here, okay? Let's come on to our angle. And then we'll just start to box in our park and road network here. Let's see how this develops on the corner. I have to be very careful with the European assets I'm finding. This is really the first time I've played with them, so... It can be a little bit awkward. Sometimes it works out really nicely. Other times it doesn't. <laughs> you just got to kind of play it by air, I think. Okay, we we'll also centralise this pathway now for the tram plaza. People can come straight on and off the stock, which is nice. Okay, so guys, I think that does feel like a good place for a detailed time lapse, and um, we have a lot to do. We're going to bring the kind of natural highway port forest that's residing over here, and um, into kind of this area, and continue to border up the ring road like we have on this side. I also help hide these power lines a little bit as well, at least until it sinks into the rest of the, uh, the European area's power network. Come through lots of boxing uh, tree gardens, like we've just said, uh, using different types of fencing and. We'll bring some colourful trees into this plaza as well, just to make it pop a little bit more. It's all a bit kind of brown and grey at the minute, and a little bit of green. And then, of course, drop in uh, some park assets within the park. I'm going to get some nice uh, seawall front cafes in here. And a nice repeatable tree pattern around the back of our cathedral. So, bit you in a minute.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for us today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, a like below is always appreciated. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. If you've really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. There are plenty of ways to support the channel if you so wish down in the description below, so check those out if you're interested. However, with this build, I am fairly happy with it. Um, quite a difficult style to pull off. It's a real blend of repeated patterns, freeform zoning, and specific assets from the academic library stuff, and of course, a couple of uniques in here as well, which always add a different layer of spice, I think, don't they? Hang around for the rest of the outro tag, you guys wouldn't have seen all the detailing. And we've come through and added in a couple of little park plazas within the U Horseshoe Park, I guess you can call it, right? And then also brought in a metro line that feeds back into the transport hub on the opposite side of the European area. So lots of people picking up public transport to get to and from this little cathedral cliffside plaza, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But otherwise, I will shut up and I will leave it there. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.